is I only, crazy. I only know about her anecdotally, but yeah. Martin Schott is obviously, if you if you know sports, if you follow baseball at all over the last you know 30 years or so, you, you know Martin Schott and you know, you know, kind of the good things, I guess, that were associated with her and, and the not so good things with her. What, I guess as someone that worked with her yeah. during that last season at, uh, as a full season, what was that experience like? I mean, she was what she was. She was, for better or worse, she was an American original. I mean, she was who she was. That's a nice way of saying a lot of there things. Is no, there is no <laughs> denying that she was every bit the human being, privately and publicly, um, the exact same person. Um, I mean, when I started there, you could smoke at your desk like it was the 1950s. She would walk through with her cigarettes. Have a scotch. And, yeah. It was like Mad Men. It was there. crazy. Oh, it was like, it was, yeah, it was like, yeah, not scotch vodka. Um, it was like, it, it was crazy thinking back on those days. I mean, she would walk through, she had cigarettes that were logoed with a Reds logo instead of Salem's or whatever she, she smoked. She would ash in the little door latches, you know, the little hole where the latch goes in. Like, that was her ashtray in there. Was, Did you ever crazy. have to walk any of her dogs? Uh, I let her into the stadium multiple times, um, and she was always delightful. She was quirky and eccentric, and everybody was sweetie and honey, and, you know, that, that was her. She didn't remember anybody's names, and uh, she was like your crazy, like, great aunt. Not mine. <laughs> yeah, they, not yours. Not mine. <laughs> yeah. the, the thing about that was... <laughs> yeah, John that was there. A, a mom-and-pop type organization exactly. could win then. The Reds yeah. in 1994 had the highest... Payroll, payroll in baseball, in the I, or maybe second to the right. the Blue Jays, and, and you know in '90, you know they they won. You could you could have a small payroll and win. Baseball's become such a big yeah. big business. It's just, it's just changed. You know, as Stu talking about working for the Dodgers, they just they just have more money than anybody, and right. they can they can do things and then stretch the rules with with their money. So it's a whole different thing. It's much harder to win, uh, I think, for a small market team now. Yeah. Um, than it was then.